The story of Richard Harris, the Limerick-born film actor, has something of a fairy tale touch in that he has become one of the big names in the industry almost overnight. Richard, what have you got? Um, I, 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 uh, I'm inclined to resent that, in a sense, that I've been sort of an overnight success. I think that a lot of people tend to forget the sort of the work that uh, one puts into one's career. I have been acting now I'm in, on, on my eighth professional year, which one wouldn't consider as being overnight, I think. Uh, um, but you must agree, though, uh, Richard, that you got into it very quickly. I you think that if you take my comparison of my contemporaries, for instance, Albert Finney and Peter O'Toole, who I'm sort of bracketed with in England, uh, they probably started a year, one year before I did. I think they left Academy in England before uh, one year before I did. So they have possibly one year sort of ahead of me. But I, I don't think they're considered sort of overnight successes either. I think, in actual fact, um, although I have been sort of working hard and I prepared myself, I studied in the Academy in London, I think that um, what's actually happened very strong is that one picture has kind of put me on the international market of sporting life. Uh, and I think that, uh, whereas, I think the same with Peter O'Toole with um, Lawrence of Arabia and uh, Albert Finney with Saturday Night and Sunday Morning, I think it sort of happens quickly like that. But I think that and Peter spent three years in repertory system in England and I spent three years with Joe Littlewood sort of preparing myself. Now, being an Irishman, uh, we notice the big Irish names coming through all the time. Is that an advantage? Well, it's extraordinary, actually. Um, it is fantastic that I've noticed in England that it's, fa it's actually fashionable now. It's rather funny, but it's fashionable in England to be Irish in the arts. That um, uh, uh, Peter O'Toole makes fantastic claims of being, of being Irish, or to being Irish. Albert Finney is now I'm our latest recruit. We have, of course... Uh, you find that the, a lot of the younger generation are coming out of academies now and beginning to make their, make their mark in England are claiming sort of Irish ancestry. It's quite extraordinary. But it is, it is fashionable in England to be, to be Irish. Now, what about Prince Arroyo? Is it true that you weren't supposed to kiss her during that famous scene? Well, I think that, I think that a lot of publicity has been unnecessarily given to this incident and... In fact, the picture itself, I think that the, and the screen called for, and the script called for it, and I wasn't made aware that, that she wasn't supposed to do so. so were I just, were I you not told not to kiss her? Um, I think there was a rumour that circulated around the studio, which I didn't pay any attention to. Um, and of course, I went ahead as, as being part of my job. Why did you wait so long to have your little son uh, christened? Well, because um, I think that if my children couldn't be born here, I decided that I kind of fell in love, you know, with sort of Claire all over again when I came back two years ago. I decided that my next child would be either born here or christened here, and since he couldn't be born here, um, I decided to have him wait and have him christened here. Well, Richard Harris, we wish you a thousand, uh, a thousand more success, and may the new year bring greater prosperity to you.